Hey guys, I was editing my video and I just noticed I do not have an intro for this video. So I just want to say welcome back to I Love Lunches. I just wanted to pop in here for just a moment and tell you welcome. Hello my friend, I am so excited to be doing a collaboration with my good friend Courtney from Mama Make It Happen. She's a mommy of six, my friends. She is so amazing. She is super woman. She does it all. She does cleaning videos, shopping videos, decorating videos, recipes, DIYs. Oh my goodness, she does everything that has to do with motherhood. So you're definitely going to enjoy her channel. And she is also making a what's for dinner. And if you're coming over from Courtney, channel I would just like to say hello and welcome if you're looking for lunch videos or recipes cleaning videos shopping videos you're definitely in the right place I'm Jennifer I would love it if you will press the subscribe button and become a part of the I love lunches family my friend it would be so amazing just make sure you click on the bell to be notified when I upload more videos and I have a few budget-friendly dinner ideas that I think you're going to love so cook with me my friend and let's make a couple of recipes and I'm gonna start off with something really simple for this what's for dinner all you're gonna need is some green onions some bell peppers some green olives some black olives some Italian dressing and some pepperonis and we can't forget about our red onion as well and some cheese and of course some pasta this is a very simple salad I really really do like the salad I think you're really gonna enjoy it so I'm just gonna start off by taking all of these stickers of my veggies and I really do like the salad a lot this is one of my favorite salads growing up we didn't make it all the time but when I got older I made it all of the times because I just loved it nobody wants to see me cut all that so I just add a little magic <laughs> and we're gonna slice up some green onions this is not expensive at all it's like I want to say like at least $12 to make this salad but it's totally worth it I'm gonna go with some pepperoni and this was something that I had in the house already you can use salami you don't have to add pepperoni or salami you can just leave it as this but I like to slice up my pepperoni just so it can kind of look a little bit more uniform so I wouldn't have big slices of pepperoni in my salad and add my black olives and my green olives and I like to get the ones that are sliced just like that and I'm gonna go with some red onion you can use whatever kind of onion you like and I'm just gonna slice these up fine I don't want them to be really shown and I really enjoy making the salad it's really good the next day I think it just all that marinade gets everywhere and it just tastes so much better the next day and you're gonna add also some salt and some pepper. I'm not a big pepper person, but I do add just a little bit of pepper and I'm gonna go with some cheese as well, more now cheddar. And I love these cube cheese. And can you believe that I cannot have cheese? But hey, I have to have a little bit of cheese. So I added a little bit of my Italian dressing and a little bit of olive oil and I definitely should have used a bigger um, serving dish but I didn't I know I should have because it would have been a lot easier to kind of mix everything together but nevertheless it's still beautiful so this is a salad it is so amazing you're really going to enjoy this salad you can pair with all kind of different things i made ribs i did not share that recipe on this video but i definitely will be sharing and some veggies and this was dinner for this night oh my gosh my friends when i tell you you are definitely going to enjoy this dinner idea it is amazing it's a recipe that i got all offline i'm gonna link the video down below because she did an amazing job the only thing i did not add to this was some crawfish but it's like um a bake i don't know what you call it it's like a casserole but it's so good a potato casserole it's truly amazing with some shrimp as well so i'm gonna boil some water and i'm gonna slice up my potatoes so you're gonna want to peel your potatoes 
as normal who wants to see me do that so we'll use some magic again and you're gonna slice them up you know in really thin strips but not too thin but just thin enough for our casserole it's going to be so yum delicious so these are all the potatoes all sliced up so all i'm gonna do is just give them a little rinse and i'm gonna add it to my pot of water but it's just gonna boil for five minutes you don't want to boil them too much just we're gonna put them in the oven but i want to make sure that they're not fully cooked so we won't leave it in the oven for a really long time we're gonna go with some garlic so i'm just gonna slice up some fresh garlic i love fresh garlic i think it's so amazing very simple to make this recipe you're really really going to love this i totally recommend it and so i'm just gonna slice everything up and i'm gonna go with um some sweet onion as well so i'm just gonna slice that up and you want to slice it up kind of fine so i'm just kind of breaking them up a little bit more so i'm gonna take off my potatoes and you want to make sure that when you take it out you do it carefully so they won't all you know get all messed up and i'm gonna go with four tablespoons of butter and i'm gonna add my onion and my garlic you can add as much garlic or onions as you like i'm gonna link the recipe down below as well and i'm gonna go with some cajun seasoning one tablespoon of that a little bit of garlic and onion powder and this is gonna be for our sauce and i'm gonna go with four tablespoons of flour as well and we're gonna make a roux and this roux is gonna be so full of flavor because we added the cajun seasoning and we're gonna go with one can of sweet and condensed milk to this and one cup of milk and we're gonna go with some cheese I had some extra cheese lying around so I just grated that and just added that inside and I'm also gonna go with some Mexican blend cheese because that's all I had available I have a humongous bag so I want to use some of that up so I'm just giving it a good mix and this is our cream sauce it's all good and all ready to go so now we're gonna get our trim and I actually bought this trim from TGI Fridays so we're gonna go with the tablespoon of our Cajun seasoning and garlic and onion powder for our trim so all I did was clean it and took the tails off and this is what it looks like and oh my goodness this is our cheese sauce holy moly doesn't this look so amazing so we're gonna add this to our dish we're gonna add a little bit of sauce in the bottom and add our potatoes and they're not all the way cooked but they're cooked enough you won't leave them in the oven for a crazy amount of time this casserole is so amazing oh my gosh and it was so very simple to make and now you're gonna add some more of your cheese sauce in the bottom Oh my gosh, it's so good, my friends. It's so good. Holy moly, look at all that cheese. And we're gonna add our seasoned shrimp that is seasoned perfectly. So this is gonna be full of so much flavor. And if you wanna add crawfish, you most definitely can. It would just take it to a whole different level. You're gonna go with another layer of your potatoes. And we're gonna add some more of this amazing sauce. And I added like, five small potatoes and we're gonna add some more shrimp on top and just add some more of our cheese sauce as well oh my goodness this looks so amazing all of that yummy goodness that's going up all over the top and now we're gonna go with some cheese all over the top and i'm just using some mix some four blend cheese and we're gonna go with some green onions to make it nice and pretty and some parsley dry parsley on top just to make it extra pretty and extra malicious and doesn't this just look amazing and we're gonna add this into the oven for 600 i mean 350 degrees and we're gonna go with some aluminum foil and i'd like to bend my aluminum foil and add a little bit of non-stick spray so it will not stick to the cheese 
So you're gonna add that in the oven for 40 minutes. We're just gonna go ahead and put that in the oven and this is what it looks like. Oh my goodness. And you're gonna take it out of the oven and you're going to put it into the boiler for a few minutes so the top can get nice and gooey. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is so good. You're absolutely going to love this. This is me serving and I'm just gonna serve it up. Oh my gosh, look at that. It's so amazing. Serve it up with some of my salad. And this is how I'm gonna eat it. But it's so amazing. You're going to enjoy it so much. Okay, my friends, I'm going to make something that's so very easy. I'm gonna make some red beans in the instant pot so all i'm gonna need is some bacon some vegetable stock or chicken broth some oregano and some bank leaves so we're gonna get our bacon and we're gonna get our instant pot and we're going to get four pieces of bacon and i'm going to put that into the instant pot on saute and we're gonna brown up our bacon this recipe is going to be so simple it's going to be some coconut rice with some red beans it's going to be so amazing i really think you're really going to love it i'm making it in the instant pot my red beans and i'm just going to put some water in the bottom of my instant pot so you can take all of that goodness out from the instant pot so i add four cups of water along with some vegetable broth so it equals up to seven cup of water and I'm adding two cups of dry beans and some oregano and some bay leaves two cloves of garlic and a small piece of onion and I'm going to put that on pressure cook and these beans I did not soak them they're dry beans and I'm gonna cook that for 35 minutes on high Alrighty, my friend, I'm gonna make some simple baked chicken. You're gonna need some turmeric onion powder, garlic powder, some cumin. So I'm just adding that to my chicken breast. It's so simple to make and so easy. Some boiled chicken flavor. And I'm gonna just season both sides and I'm not adding any salt because the boiling seasoning already have some, some garlic and onion powder. And I'm gonna add a couple of small white potatoes. And I really want this to be very simple. I'm gonna add three tablespoons of some of these. Oh my gosh. And one can of tomato sauce. And I'm gonna add some chicken broth as well. Some parsley and put that in the oven for 350 degrees for 35 minutes and we're gonna make some coconut rice so you're gonna need two cups of rice one tablespoon of sugar chicken bouillon a little bit of salt if you don't have chicken bouillon coconut milk and of course our beans that are in the pressure cooker if you do not want to pressure cook beans just use a can of beans and some olive oil this is going to be so amazing we're going to go with our coconut milk we're going to use one can of coconut milk that should be two cups of coconut milk we use one 15 ounce can these are what our beans look like so i just let them release pressure on its own i'm gonna get one cup of that amazing broth from the beans and add that to our rice oh my god this is so yum malicious i'm gonna go with two cups of beans that we just made in our pressure cooker oh my gosh it is so amazing to make your beans in the pressure cooker it cooks in no time we're gonna go with our two cups of rice that i rinsed off and a little bit of olive oil and one teaspoon of boiling seasoning and we're gonna let that simmer and let that cook for like 15 20 minutes we're gonna make a very simple cucumber salad we're gonna go with our cucumbers who wants to see me cut that <laughs> and you're gonna slice that up we're gonna go with a half 
a teaspoon also of sugar. I forgot to mention that. Some sweet onion. I like to cut my onions very, very thinly. So just add your teaspoon of sugar, some salt, and some thickener, and just mix it up. And there you go. And this is what our rice looks like. Oh my gosh, it is so amazing. It's going to be so magically delicious. Very simple to make. And this is what our chicken looks like. And you just want to turn it around after like 20 minutes and put it back in the oven. And this is our dinner for today. It's so yummy. It's so amazing with that red sauce. And I hope that you enjoyed this video, my friend. Please take a second and subscribe and if you're coming from coding channel i would just like to tell you welcome 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 please make sure and hit the subscribe button and please head over and say hello to courtney i'll see you guys soon bye bye guys